insects. Locusts from the pit. Why do you think Broken Promises has scorpions on it? Saying Broken Promises with a scorpion. Because in Genesis 9, I mean in Revelation 9, I'm sorry, we know that locusts come out of the pit with tails like scorpions. And how did they get, how did all these scorpions or locusts that have tails like scorpions get out of the pit? That's how. F you. That's how they got out. By setting a trap, a snare, bait. You know, F you, pay me. You got your shoes. You got your host body. Now pay me. Now everything makes sense, doesn't it? Look at all the methodology going on here. Now let me show you some real methodology. And I'm going to show this to you now. And then we're going to show it to you again. And then I'm going to remind you of the Statue of Liberty and show it to you again. But Now, what's interesting here, and this is just a wee educational clip from Click. <clears throat> As I woke up, oh, maybe three or four days ago, thinking, Cleek needs to do a cartoon illustration. Like, he needs to illustrate in a cartoon some Im images to demonstrate exactly what he's called. This the whole theme of this upload is about the methodology, and I understand that because I've I have a project management degree. That's what I was thinking that he needed to do, but I didn't know whether he would have time, and he's doing it, yay! So I'm just gonna I haven't even watched this, but I'm sure it'll help you get it. Good on click. Here is the system. Pay close attention. Now, do you guys remember the Statue of Liberty is on top of an 11-pointed star called a hindecagram? A hindecagram is an 11-pointed star, and in the middle of it is called what's called a transmutation circle. I've shown it to you in the last video. It's a right-side-up triangle and an upside-down triangle, and it makes a hexagram. And then you put a star, which is one of God's angels, which is represented by a five-pointed star, the top being the head, arms, and then the legs. You put that star in the middle, which is a, the, the kelepot is a host body. It's a shell, which is our body is a shell. And you put a star, an angel, you get an angel in that host body with a demon, and if he doesn't get converted from that right side up, upside down, before that host body dies, then he goes to the pit and his sentence is carried out all the way and his soul is gone for good. No recovery. Not able to recover. Let me show you the methodology here. Right here, this right here represents your condition before you get saved. There is a right side up you in red like like uh representing the edemic bloodline uh, edemic and then there's an upside down you the 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 upside down one that represents genesis one do y'all remember the commercials with adidas original where they're all hanging upside down with their arms crossed making x's remember that the adidas original they're saying the original because that's genesis one so blue represents the original Genesis 1, the upside down race. This represents the right side up system, right side up, upside down. And there's you. You're a right side up star. You still have a chance because this is the system. Now watch. If you get converted right over here, the blue thing goes away. Down in the, now, I want you to picture all these little cells down in the pit. Down in the pit. Well, if you get converted and the upside down one gets turned red, and then that, then you get marked out. You're no longer part of the hive. Right over here. That's why I put an X through it. Blam! That one's out of the hive. It got saved. But if you don't get saved then and you die, then you go to the pit. And you see the two blues? Now your sentence is completely carried out, 
And what was an angel, what was an angel, the right side up is an upside down and he becomes one of theirs for good. You understand? So if there's a right side up you and an upside down you, you still have a chance to get converted. But if you die in that condition, then your sentence is carried out and that's you right there. And you become an upside down star for a locust in the pit and you basically become one of them. You get transmuted. Oh, transmutation. That's why it's called a transmutation circle. And I read to you the definition of transmutation, converting one species to another. Statue of Liberty, because a bunch of angels wanted their liberty to take on those bodies and be an idol unto themselves, because the host body is an idol. That's what it says in Genesis 1. Let us create man in our vain show, representative figure, especially an idol. So now everything makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And this is the methodology. So this is one that got saved, and that so down in the pit. Eh, eh, so you're no longer connected to the pit. That means... You're not constantly fighting yourself in a battle that you can't win. You got to give up. You got to raise the white flag and say, I give up. Lord, I can't do it. I, I give up. I'm guilty as charged. I deserve my punishment. God, forgive me. That's how you get out of the trap. Not by trying to be better. You give up and you say, I've done it. I screwed up. I lied, I cheated, I stole, I committed adultery. I, whatever it is you've done, you just admit it. And you say, I can't do it anymore. And I surrender. And you can have this host body and use it for your glory. And I give up. And I deserve to go to hell. And God forgive me. And thank you for Jesus. And please convert me. Ta -da! And it cuts the line to the pit. Snip. And that line, that Bluetooth line to the pit. Boom. Cut. And you're converted. Yay. Lies become single. And the star is saved. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. Pretty good, right? Yep. Very good. Right. I have a testimony again. I didn't expect to share this, but I'm in a group. Now, I live in New Zealand. We have the North Island and the South Island. For my own personal reasons, I decided to join this group out of curiosity. They want to separate the South Island from the North Island and make the South Island an autonomous nation with its own government. Right, so I'm in this group. Uh, it's been quite an open-minded group and I've been able to post some pretty turned up Christian based links and make statements without getting hassled too much in this group and I've quite enjoyed it because I get locked out of most or I get attacked too much I give up but I come across some conflict and the conflict was because I hadn't realized that they had designed a flag for the South Island so I'm going to put the flag on my thumbnail just to show you. The flag is, it uses the colours green. I have no problem with the colours green. From memory, I think, New Zealand, the South Island, because that's where I live. And that's the reason I'm interested in the South Island, because that's where the Lord has shown me the glory. And the fire goes from the South Island up to the north. The North Island of New Zealand is far higher, highly, higher populated than the South Island. And there are geographical differences. And here in the South Island, we, um, we could so easily be autonomous in terms of, you know, we have the biggest land mass. Um, we can, we have our own power source. We have all the resources. Uh, we basically built the whole principle of this site is that we built the North Island. 
with our money and now we're brassed off because the all the the government the beehive is in wellington which is the north island and it happens to be called the beehive that's our parliament buildings is called the beehive <laughs> believe it or not but the fools, and that they are fools, and they're from the pit. The the this is it, it's 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 from the pit. This this design for this flag. Because the green is fine, the map of the South Island is fine, but it's in a blimmin hexagon like that. It's in a hexagon shape. And I couldn't go to all the extent to explain to them why I didn't like the hexagon shape. I just said, why are we putting a hexagon on the flag? I don't like it. And boy, did I get some kickback. So I'm going to go to the site and I'll try and put the flag on the thumbnail. And two of the comments that I got for kickback, they're, just, they're from the demon from the bottomless pit that these people don't even know why they're that offended by it. But I've practically been kicked off the page for it. <laughs> they told me I could I could go for a jog. And I'm, you know, like, buzz off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to upload this because I thought that was a really good illustration that Pete gave and hopefully um, some more people will actually get it. And, and he is... Um, a Bible scholar. He's the best Bible teacher I've ever come across. He has spoken from God. He is speaking from God. He is sharing the truth. 